The natural rubber supply chain is a pretty long one. The rubber trees take seven years to grow before you can tap them. So once they are grown, you need a tapper to use your hand to go and tap the, the rubber tree and you collect the latex. This latex is then processed in two ways, either in a latex factory, which is uh, in a liquid format, or in a solid format, which is in a rubber factory that basically cleans and processes this block rubber. High performance tires, 15 to 30% of their weight are made of this regrowing material. So that means for us in the tire industry, the natural rubber is an extremely important resource. But that also means that we can make a major impact towards sustainability. You need to consider that a lot of the problems with sustainability that we may or may not have in natural rubber happen at the very upper level of the supply chain, meaning at the smallholders, the farmers. Now, how do you want to control millions of these farmers? And controlling is one thing. You also need to enable them to become compliant with sustainability requirements. Heavy Connect has developed a trading platform to basically make it easier for you to connect with your customers and to look at prices and to analyze your sales or your purchasing behavior. We've also tacked on uh, the sustainability information. You need to collect quality data within the factory and further upstream up from the factory we also have traceability tools whereby we create another application for the farmers basically to trace where your rubber came from. This also provides an ability for us to provide incentives to the farmers. Collecting data from all these suppliers or having the suppliers submit data, this will very quickly generate a huge data lake you will be very quickly overwhelmed. And this is basically where a platform like EVIA Connect comes in. They can put them together, they can generate dashboards. In this way, make the market also concerning sustainability way more transparent. It could be that uh, a supplier provides you a higher price, but with a greener or lower greenhouse gas emissions, scope one and two, which would then reduce your scope three at the tire making factory and possibly when carbon taxes come into play, this is where you need more data to make better and informed choices. And then from the tire manufacturer onwards, they would then provide this information to the final consumer, the car manufacturer, and then uh, to you and I. The world revolves around finance. So sustainability, yes, but who pays for it? So that there is incentive mechanisms that could be revolving around the whole green financing, green bonds, what we are doing and pioneering with DBS on our platform is you provide sufficient sustainability data. This data is provided to the bank and your company now qualifies for green financing.